Jackson is university for AI. AI has a big secret. As you've seen from many of these presentations, models need to be trained. They're trained on representative examples that have been labeled. The labeling task today is predominantly done by humans. Depending on whether it's an unsupervised or supervised learning model, most in production systems today are supervised learning with teams of humans behind the scenes labeling data one at a time, tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of times over. And as many of the presentations have alluded to, it's not just a, a time and, and cost uh, issue, it's also that humans make mistakes and bring this inaccurate learning into the training pipeline that then produces models that have, again, an inherently flawed starting point. Jackson is automating as much of the process as possible. We have not eliminated those pesky humans yet. Uh, we like to say that the humans are designing the factory. They're no longer working on the assembly line. So humans are there to design what the problem is, look over the shoulder of the machine, and ensure the accuracy of the output, and then use the trained models in their production settings. Uh, we're currently focused on natural language processing use cases, so taking in a mound of representative examples from social or chat logs or call logs and using those examples to label and then ultimately train the models with. Here's a case study we did with a, a large retailer where they did away with the drop-down menu for reason for return because they found everyone would just pick the first option that got their money back. And so they forced you to free-form text in and uh, write why you're returning the goods. So in this example on, on the bottom left there, the, the trash can was dented. And then that written example needs to map to, in their case, 64 different reasons for return. Could have been damage, could have been packaging issues, could have been you know, assembly struggles, what have you. So taking the raw example and then mapping it to these 64 different reasons for return before Jackson, this retailer would ship off hundreds of thousands, in this case it was 400,000 of these examples, and waited months for humans to label the data and then give it back to their data science team. So you can see that Jackson was not only faster, obviously more cost effective, but if you look at the bottom row there, it also produced a more accurate model on the other side, because with Jackson it's calibrating and curating the labeled data as it proceeds. Uh, Greg and I met at MIT a good 18 years ago. We've been building company after company together since. The last one was a machine learning consulting firm where we worked with large organizations to push their first models to production and always ran into this bottleneck of labeling data. So we decided to start building it five years ago and now we have it in production. We're working with retailers, we're working with the US Department of Defense we are really industry agnostic, and as long as you have lots of natural language, we can give you lift and accelerate the process of training models. I can be found at scott at jackson.ai. Thank you.